Hey everyone, welcome back to Dan's How To Videos. Today's video is going to be on saving money with your data plan. What I'm gonna do is show you an app that's gonna allow you to cut the data usage of each app and allow you to save money and get more out of the data you do have. Anyway guys, let's get started. All right, so for the past few years, I've been using an app called Onavo Extend, and it's always been free. I just checked it out in the App Store, and it does say it's still free for a limited time. This works with the iPad as well as the iPhone, as long as you have a data package. Now, I know a lot of people don't have unlimited plans, like me, I don't have an unlimited plan here in Canada, that doesn't exist. But what this app is gonna do is cut the data from each app by tracking it, and then somehow it manages to save you data. Like you can see Instagram, it saved me 61%. It says 28.71 megabits overall saved so far. Now let's jump into the reports because it does give you a breakdown of everything. And you can see that Vine is using 5.7 megabytes. The web I use 2.94, video 1.18, and you can see that it's my monthly usage. Now I can also check uh, the session breakdown by going into last month here. And you can see that Instagram, it was able to save 61%, the City News app is 53%, the App Store 52%, and it goes on and on. And even though it, at the bottom here, when it goes into Google Maps and it's not really saving anything at all, I mean, it's still tracking what you're using, so you're still getting something out of it, even if it's not cutting the uh, cost there or cutting the data used by the app. But you can see up here, we go into it, Vine, YouTube, it's saving me a little bit, and these little bits will add up. Now, what this is gonna be really Really good for is people who go out of the country and have roaming charges. This is going to triple your roaming charges usage because it's going to obviously cut the amount of data you're using so you're going to save that and also in turn save the roaming charges. Now it's supposed to give you five times more data from your plan and again it's going to track everything you're using. So uh, just jumping back to the front page here, let's go uh, jump into the data saver page here. Now I'm currently using Wi-Fi and it automatically says at the bottom here, currently on Wi-Fi so the service is paused and this is good, that way it accurately tracks what you're using when you're on your cellular data rather than on Wi-Fi. Now it's a little tricky to install it so what I'm going to do is uninstall this and then go through the whole installation process and show you how to remove it because it is going to be installing a VPN on your iPhone. It's very easy so don't worry, we'll just jump into that right now. All right, so I'm in the App Store now. I'm just gonna go ahead and install this. I've already put in my password prior to this. So once it is installed, we'll be able to open up the app. We'll just go to our main screen here. And uh, the install is really quick. Once you open it up, it's gonna ask you a few questions. It's gonna say to put in your email if it's not yet registered. If you don't wanna do that, just skip it for now. Then you wanna push continue, continue, continue. You can read all those obviously to get an understanding of what it is and then this is the VPN and it's going to explain how it works. I'll let you do that on your own um, but what it's basically going to do is try to compress your 3G data in the cloud. So anyway you can read that again on your own. So agree to the terms and then it's going to set up the actual VPN configuration and you need to install this on your iPhone. It's safe. You don't really have to worry about it and you can remove it at any time. So go ahead and hit install. You need to put in your password to do this. Once it's installed, you hit done, and uh, it should track or start tracking everything. It's gonna gather up your information. Now, if this is the first time you've ever used the app, then obviously it's gonna need some time to track what you've done um, over the last little while. I had mine already on, so it remembers it. But uh, you'll need to give it at least a month or a few weeks to get uh, a sense of what's been going on and what's being used and everything. So uh, you can see right here, actually, um, it has a sample session because I guess it did forget. But anyway, that's basically the app. And if you do want to remove it, it's simple. You just delete it the same way you would by holding on the app like this and then hitting the X. But you need to remove the VPN. Otherwise, you're going to have this VPN at the top all the time. Now, to do this on the iPhone 5 and iPad, it's pretty similar. You just go into the Settings tab here, scroll down to General, and then just right down to the bottom where it says Profile. You see it says Onavo. You go there, and you want to tap on Remove, and then hit Remove. Put in your password to ensure it is removed and you're good to go. All right, so just to wrap things up, this is Onavo Extend. Again, it is free for a limited time and it's gonna help you save money on your data plan by cutting your data. So definitely check it out, it's in the App Store. Let me know what you guys think, let me know if you've used this and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, remember, hit the thumbs up. Helps me out a ton, helps my channel, helps support me. Also subscribe up top or on the page and uh, it'll let you know when I post a new video. I post Monday through Friday all about tech, how-tos, and videos like this one right here. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.